Building Step students, it's Deborah Long, your writing advisor on October the 19th. I hope you guys are doing well and hanging in there virtually. I know it's tough and I really do feel for you. It is also my hope that at this point in your Common App essays, you are really just kind of refining and perfecting what is the best possible essay that you can do. And please, again, make use of your writing advisors. If you're having issues, you can all certainly contact me. But in your checklist of final things to do, it's really important, first of all, to read the essay, hopefully out loud, just so you can hear to yourself if it makes sense. You want to make sure that all parts of your essay are cohesive and that it flows logically from one idea to the next, that each paragraph kind of tees up the next one in its, in its place. Also, be sure that you have actually answered the prompt. Um, again, sometimes I think it's very helpful to have some of the language of the essay prompt that you're using in your introduction or conclusion paragraph. That's often an easy way to make sure you've done that. And also make sure that every paragraph fits into your thesis and your main idea, it, meaning that there's not a lot of extraneous writing. While fluffy, beautiful language can be great, this piece of writing is more streamlined and more of a personal statement. So again, any issues on your common app um, essay, please be sure that you're in touch with your individual writing advisor or me as a default. Happy to help you out there and again, hope it's going well. Um, today, Courtney is going to walk you through some of the short answers and supplements for the various schools and I'm just going to give you a brief overview of a couple of things. I just want to say these opportunities, these short answers and supplements are a place where you can really reveal something new about yourself. If, for example, you go through your essay and review what you've written down and there's a lot about leadership or a certain skill that you have, but there's something that you feel that's missing, a part of your personality or your accomplishments that's missing, this is a great way to kind of slip it in under the radar and really make sure that you get credit for a wonderful part of yourself that's not mentioned elsewhere on your application. It's also a spot where you wanna you know, avoid repeating the same information that maybe might be the body of your common app personal statement essay. Um, the last thing that I'll say about the short answer and the supplements is that to the extent that you can do some research online or find something that is unique to that particular college or university, it shows that you've done some research and that you've really investigated on your own and really differentiated that school among yourselves and other schools that you're looking at and that will help you. I know this is really difficult, particularly in the virtual age and being you know, online and, and perhaps not being able to set foot on a campus physically. But even if you look up online, a virtual chess club, a virtual singing group, something of that degree that's going on virtually, it shows that you have had the initiative to do the research and find an area where you may really fit in. And um, it really distinguishes you as a student and the effort that you're willing to put into this application. So again, I wish you guys the best. Courtney is gonna take over from here in this discussion. Please, please, please make use of your writing advisors by email. We're here for you, we're rooting for you, and we know it's a difficult year to be applying, but best wishes to everyone. Stay healthy, stay sane, stay happy, and please, please, please be in touch with anything I can help you with. Deborah T. Long at Verizon.net. Have a great night.